Sam. Thank you so much for joining me in this cosy, festive setting. Isn't it? It's lovely. So I feel ready for the holiday season. Let's start with wee points. How did that come about? I'd always wanted to do a sort of adventure book and I realised I had a week off work from shooting on Outlander and decided to, to walk the West Highland Way, which is something that I've always wanted to do. And whilst I was doing the walk, I realised, you know, it was a great place for me to reflect and to look back on, I guess, the career, my career so far. You did this on a whim though, basically. Mm, so you yeah. decided like, one day I'm going to do it and you were going to go. And you know, being uh, the you know, imaginary actor that I am, I thought I'd be this wild man camping outdoors under the stars, you know, lighting fires, making my own food. And of course, the reality was that it rained constantly for the first two days. I was drenched and um, it was very, very hard. It's paralleled with your life and, mm. and growing up and stuff. And it is such an insight into that. Was it therapeutic to write that down? It, this was absolutely, uh, you know, a cathartic, uh, almost a bit like therapy, um, just to reflect on, on my career. And I, I guess, you know, it's been such an amazing journey to get here. Uh, I feel very fortunate for the job that I'm doing now, my day job, you know, Outlander, but also the other projects I've got going on. But um, the journey to get there wasn't easy. And uh, I guess sometimes maybe um, people they don't know the full story so it was nice to share that and there's one person who doesn't get a massive amount of mentions but i think emerges as the star mama hewn oh yeah my mum uh, chrissy is, is is incredible you know she's artistic and uh, always encouraged me in whatever career choice i took and um, you know i guess raising you know um two boys you know single parent was very hard she's been a great support and i think she was very pleased when uh, when the book came out um, i let her read it first just in case is she a massive outlander fan or does she not bother to watch uh, my mother is certainly very proud. Yes, yes. I'm not sure she's seen all of Outlander and I hope she hasn't seen all of Outlander, but, uh, but she certainly has a collection of books that I keep sending her. Yeah. I bet she was proud the other night, you know, a few weeks ago, you won the BAFTA. Yes, I was very lucky to, to win the, the fan award for Scottish BAFTA and honestly it was a great honour um, for myself, but I accepted it on behalf of Outlander because, you know, I think the show has been a force of nature. It's been something that's really changed the landscape of Scottish film and TV. And do you still love playing Jamie? Yes, I mean, what's not to love? You know, he, I mean, it's ridiculous. You couldn't really say no, could you? Well, I mean, you wouldn't say no because, I mean, look, who else gets to play, you know, a Scottish Highland warrior that's gone to the Caribbean and Versailles and now he's in the American Revolution. But we can also see you on the silver screen with none other than Celine Dion. Yes, yes. Um, Love Again is the new title and it's a romantic comedy. Um, so it, it is honestly a lovely little film. It's got a great heart. Um, and my co-star uh, Priyanka Chopra is just beautiful. She's a, a wonderful human being, a great actress. But of course, Celine Dion as well, making her acting debut. And she's also written some original songs for, for the film. Did I see you saying that you sing in it? Um, I mean, sing, I use that term <laughs> very lightly, sing, yes. Make I've a always, noise. <laughs> I've always said I would never do a musical and, uh, well, I will never do a musical probably after <laughs> this. Again. Something I discovered in the book, which I didn't know about you, is that you've done a Christmas movie. It was called Princess for Christmas. Uh -huh. Maybe another name, I'm not sure, but um, yeah, I, I shot it a long time ago in Romania. It was very early in my career, but I did get to work with a former Bond. I worked with Roger Moore, who was played my father in, in the movie. Um, and uh, that was a, a great honor. I love Christmas movies, bad ones, good ones. Yes. Give me your top three. Top, my top one's Bad Santa. The Grinch. Love the Grinch. I mean, Jim Carrey is just phenomenal. And my third one, um, well, I suppose it's a Christmas movie, but it, uh, Bill Murray, uh, Groundhog Day. Tell me what Christmas was like for you growing up. You know, always just really cosy, you know, homemade food, uh, presents, and um, we always had a tradition as well. I was born and brought up in Dumfries and Galloway, and certainly um, th there would be a Christmas party or a New Year party, Hogmanay, uh, where the whole sort of community would get together. And that's, uh, that's something that was really instilled in me, and I still wish, you know, we could still do to this day. Well, Sam. It's been a joy as always. Oh. I genuinely saw this and thought of you. What? No! Yeah. Now I feel bad I didn't bring you I one. I know, well, so you should. Here we go. What is this? Oh my god, it's a... It's 
is your rucksack. <laughs> a little Scottish rucksack. That's what I should have taken. That is what you, if you read Thank the you. book, you will see that Sam took a giant rucksack full of a load of nonsense with, with that you didn't need. All the, all, this, all the gear and no idea is essentially it. So next time you see me on the West Highland Way, I'll be carrying this. <laughs>